The whole Clinton family was front and center at his global initiative this week, which has kept the buzz about Hillary in 2016 a little high for President Clinton's comfort. He did his best to tamp it down in our interview, but opened up about possible threats to another run and his biggest lessons from the loss last time. I was really struck by something Lindsey Graham said uh, the other day. He said, from now on, after Tuesday's meeting, I'm going to call it Clinton care. If it's a huge success, Hillary Clinton will win. will win the presidency. If it's the failure I think it's going to be, then she needs to own the result of uh, embracing this bill. How worried are you about that for 2016? Not at all. Not at all. There are some similarities in his bill and the one we proposed. His bill's already produced a lot of good results. Look, they are desperate for this bill to fail. Because if it's not a failure, everything they've been telling us since 1980, but right that now, government's bad, it's wrong. They so badly want it to fail. So I've never Americans. seen a time. Can you remember a time in your lifetime when a major political party was just sitting around begging for America to fail? I don't know what's going to happen, but, but I'll be shocked if it fails. I just think that when all these dire predictions don't come out, if they don't, I believe that pretty soon, within the next several years, this will be like Medicare and Medicaid, and it'll be a normal part of our life, and people will be glad it's there. And a big plus the next election. Yeah. But I know you can't answer anything about 2016, but when you look back to the last campaign, if you could boil it down to one, what is the one big lesson you learned from it? Well, two things. You've got to have a plan for the future that relates to the people. You know, this is not about the candidates as much as it's about having a plan for the future. And secondly, you have to have a strategy for presenting your true self to the voters in an environment where there are unprecedented opportunities for those who don't want you to win to paint a different picture of your true self. And yeah, big data helps, it really matters. And you have to merge high tech with grassroots I still think we have way too many caucuses. They're not democratic. And unlike primaries, they have no legal enforcement. You can break the rules and nobody can say anything. I think there are way too many of them. But you can talk about all that calendar stuff. And we have learned that it's a strategy in modern life to make do reverse plastic surgery on people so that people don't really know who you are. But the 2008 was way more complicated than that. You had two extraordinarily gifted people with great political skills, particularly President Obama. He'd, you know, he'd been in more races than Hillary had by far. Her first primary election in her life was the presidential primary of 2008. So, she, so you know, it was, that was a one-off exciting thing. That may never, we may never see anything like that again in our life. Yeah, it's a pretty titanic battle. Yeah, and he had a better grassroots organization in many states. One of the things that I totally missed was how much the calendar had changed, for example, from 92 to 2008. But I don't know if, it's just, I have no idea how to answer your question. You just answered it pretty well. The next one will be better, it will be different, whether she's in it or not. They're all different. And the main thing is you must learn the lessons of your mistakes and your failures without becoming a general who fights the last war. Because every new encounter will be shaped by different forces.